<laughs> We're already reviewing Dragon Ball Z. That's bad enough. Let's not add to the humiliation. Hey, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love Dragon Ball Z. I'm John. I'm Matt. This is uh, the Wednesday of our movie marathon. This is our third film we're reviewing. What's this one, Matt? Tree of Might. That's right. <laughs> Which I'm trying to remember if it was this one or Lord Slug was the first Dragon Ball Z movie I watched. I can't remember which one. I think it was Lord Slug. You tell me it was Lord Slug. I, I, can't, I thought about it. I can't remember because they played this one Toonami a lot. Which is where I first started watching Dragon Ball Z. Tree of Might. Tree of Might. They played Tree of Might, Dead Zone, and World's Strongest a lot. World's Strongest a lot. <laughs> well, this one makes up for the World's Strongest. Um, basically, no, uh, none of these plots are too hard to describe. Cat, you mean to say it this time? You want to go for it, I'll help you. Well, Turles, I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's hard to... Yes, Turles like. is a Saiyan, just like Goku and Gohan. Apparently there's more Saiyans. Which is a bit of a, you know... Going back, around. going back on their own mythology a little bit there. We're supposed to just be the... Yeah, going back to the show, they said there's only... Like four Saiyans left. Goku, Vegeta, Raditz, and Nappa. But in the movies, you get Broly, Turles, Vegeta's brother. Who's Vegeta's brother? I don't remember his name. Save my life right now. And... And, of course, there's another Gohan and Trunks, you know, the kids. Also, there's another android. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting off a little bit. Yeah, uh, Turles is a Saiyan. He's come to Earth. To plant the Tree of Might and get a, a little plant that looks like a freaking... Now, you gotta describe what the Tree of Might does. The Tree of Might is a big, big, giant tree that when you plant it, it'll suck every every single nutrients and life. life out of the Earth. Mm -hmm. And it'll make these little... I guess they're supposed to like, look like apples, but they don't look anything like that. It looks like it has spots sticking out of it. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like apples on steroids. Mm. So then it basically it's up With to temples. it's up <laughs> to Goku and the crew once again to stop Turles and save the world. And destroy the tree of Mai. And just to let you know Turles eats one of those plants. But he still gets defeated. And that's not a spoiler. Yeah. You should always know how these Dragon Ball Z films are going in. They don't ever end badly. <laughs> no. Like I said, I can't remember if this was the first Dragon Ball Z film I watched or not. But I remember this was my favorite for a very long time. Turles. I hate Turles. Turles is, jerk. A, Turles is a bad, bad dude. He's probably, of all the villains we've seen so far, Dollar Jr., Dr. Willow, and Turles, Turles is definitely the meanest. <laughs> yeah, he just comes to Earth for no reason and plants the tree. Well, he knows who Goku is, though, because he calls yeah. him Kakarot. Kakarot. Which is Goku's saying. Apparently, name. all these henchmen know that, too. Which they're not Saiyans. No, they're not Saiyans, but they were those little eyes. They're all scouters. Things. Scouters, I can't remember the name of it. But. I've always wondered things about those scouters. Hmm. You can't even read the numbers. Well, it's, it's, supposed like, to be a, it's supposed to be an alien language that they use. They don't use alien I think, language. I think, and this is going to show a little bit. I think there's actually an episode where like Krillin, somebody, oh, Krillin or right. Gohan or somebody puts it on, and he uses it, and he's like, well, I can't even read this thing. You know, it's supposed to be an alien. Oh language. yeah, I think it's in the Saiyan saga right after. I think it's in. Uh, like he'll write it. Oh God, <laughs> is that spoiler? Every, if you're watching this Dragon Ball season, you know what that means. Um, the thing I remember most about Tree of Mind is it is a little slow. Uh, yeah. And if I remember correctly, it has a... Oh, it has a subplot. The little dragon looking Oh, uh, the dragon that Gohan finds in the woods after the fire. Which yeah. this movie starts out with someone using the Dragon Balls. Once again, which is Gohan and Krillin because there's a fire in the woods because yeah. of Turtles, ain't it? I it's think it was that little robot thing. That plants the Tree of Mind. Yeah. 
Turles. I, mm, I just want to punch him yeah, in the face. But that didn't blow me up. Turles is a <sighs> great bad guy. Yeah, he's the, probably he's, one of the best bad guys. He's evil as a son of a gun. But the one thing I never liked about Turles is why does he look just like Goku, but he's not Goku's brother or nothing. That's never explained. <laughs> no, he, I guess Goku is just like, you look just like my dad. And he's like, ha ha ha, smack. <laughs> Slop. <laughs> um, <laughs> interrupted. <laughs> Damn it, fails. Um... Anyways, what I was going to say, the thing I'm, and you have to correct me, because you watched it more recently than I have. I watched it, like, this morning. That, no, this it's not. I'll the thing I remember die. the most about this movie, I think I'm wrong, is it, isn't there a lot of, like, nudity in this one? Yeah, like, go the, on, it shows his little finger. Right here. <laughs> and doesn't Goku get naked in it, though? No, not Goku. No, I made the thing wrong. There's one you of these. You see Gohan's butt and penis. Yeah, which is... <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm like, Ew! I remember watching that and being like, wow, this is really weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's when he turns into the ape. When Turles has the false moon. Here's a question. This was after the Freezer saga, right? No. This was. Uh, can't be. I mean, King Kazan. It looks like a little bit after the same, but they already cut his tail off. Again, you're just going to have to realize that yeah, it the in. movies don't tie into the show very well. Like I said, Garlic Jr. is about it. <laughs> And the characters. And even then, you can't place Garlic Jr., the first movie, Dead Zone, into the timeline. And none of these movies fit into a timeline. Um, the action set pieces are pretty good. Although, I felt some of the fights were a little short. Yeah. Like the henchmen of Turles. Some of the fights were a little... Yeah, but the way uh, Goku takes them all out is... Easily <laughs> done. Like, this is a... Bam, bam, <laughs> This is one of the first Dragon Ball Z films where uh, the Z fighters is what they what they refer to them as. Really take a whooping. <laughs> they get beat up pretty hardcore. This one's the first one that also has a T and Yumpsha in there, I think. Yeah, yeah. But um, I laughed at this part. I just couldn't help myself. I was saying, you think you can press girls with an airplane? No. Whoa, why'd you get it there? Like... There's always some cheese that's, in Dragon Ball Z. That's, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't you have like a brand new like airplane. Yeah, that's what I said. And the tree of might knocks it over or something like that and blows it up. How is it blowing up? I don't know. Oh god, we're going down. <laughs> but also I like, What is that and, cat's name that Yum has? Cat? Yeah, that little flying cat thing that it's always the Yum Chef. It's not in this world, right? Yeah, we're fine with him. He's like, wait the bull and we'll see my new plane and the tree of might. <laughs> is it dead? No. <laughs> I can't remember its name. I want to say current. I, mean, I didn't even see it. I want to say it's current, but it's not current. Because current is the one I want to look at that gives the suits of beans to the fighters. Well, isn't it? Uh, just the class random question real quick. Yeah. Is Chatsu one of the Chelsea? speed fighters? Yeah, Chatsu. He and Chatsu. He's one of the... He's one of the worst ones. Yeah. <laughs> he always gets beat up. Touch. Yeah, <laughs> he's just, you know. Dude. What are you going to do? Um, the fight with Turtles and Goku is pretty daggum good. Yeah. It, it really like, and, you know, this is not really a spoiler. Like I said, you know, it's always going to end. Mm -hmm. Well, it really lets you get to the point where you think that it's it's over. Yeah, Turtle seems like he won this thing. And then Goku starts crawling. He, he gets up, he's walking, and then boom! What like, is, it, is it a Kamehameha he hits him with, or is it a Spirit Bomb? I think it's Kamehameha. Kamehameha. Because he, he beats Dr. Willow with a Spirit Bomb. <laughs> World's strongest, <laughs> world's worst Dragon Ball Z movie so far. So far, we haven't got through all of them yet. There may be some words, but we'll have to wait and find out. Yeah, I've always really liked Trio Mato. I thought it, it's got a cool tone. It also has a couple funny parts. I laughed my head off at this part. I know it's not supposed to be funny. So when Darlin meets with Big Low, he's like, oh, How do you feel about losing? <laughs> and then, boom, he falls in the air. He's like, Whoa. I don't think I remember what you're talking about. Turles, like I said, Turles is one of the best. <laughs> Terrence is one of the best bad guys Dragon Ball Z's ever had. He's a cocky, evil son of a bee. Yeah, but he blasts Piccolo. He's on the ground and he's like, he, he blasts the thing out. Yeah, I didn't remember that. I, I was like, I had to run that twice. Just look at it. I was like, is that why you didn't watch Lord Slug? Probably. The main thing I remember about the movie is the tone. It's a darker Dragon Ball. Yeah, movie. it's it's not like it's not a friendly happy. one. It's not happy like yeah. It's not like Goku. It's not like Gohan and Piccolo walking on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a lot brutal. It's a lot more brutal, a little darker, and a lot of fun. I think. 
I think the only problem I have with it is it's kind of incoherent at times. It's kind of hard to follow. And it's kind of long, too. It is a little long. It's an hour and nine minutes. The only problem I have with it, the big problem I've always had with it, was <coughs> it's kind of hard to follow. You know, like, who are these people? Yeah, Why, are they here? Why are they doing this? <laughs> yeah, you like. But at the end of the day. Is, who's these? At the end of the day, you don't care because the fighting's good. And, uh, yeah. I can't wait to see Lord Slug. Lord Slug's next. So, what do you give it, Matt? I will, I'm going to give it. Well, we're doing five system, right? Five system. I was going to say ten. <laughs> ten? <laughs> I really loved it. <laughs> I'm going to give it um, probably four and a half. I'll give it a four. A solid four. I think it's a. Uh, of the, th <laughs> of the three we watch, it's my favorite so far. My least favorite is the world's strongest. strongest. <laughs> it's also creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's Dragon Ball Z, the Tree of Might. Tune in Friday, and we'll be watching Lord Slug. That's right, Lord Slug. Stay I got tuned. a cool story about how I discovered Lord Slug. So, uh. You want to go ahead and say? No. <laughs> we don't have enough time, do we? We'll catch y'all Friday. Enjoy the Dragon Ball Z, folks. <laughs>